Dirt Nerds, I'm George, and it is Dirt 30. Let's see what we're going to be digging into today. What's up, everybody? As you can see, yes, it is still freezing cold outside. So I am going to be doing a pay dirt today. We're going to be doing the sake barrel sent to me from Ginger in Japan. Um, and we are going to be going in, in the house to go do this. Uh, I just wanted to come outside and do the intro part because I just wanted to show you, you know, it is it is freezing everything is frozen it's cold as hell and i'm not going to be out here freezing to have some fun the wife graciously let me set up in the kitchen so let me get you flipped around let me get you set up and show you what we're gonna be playing with today well here i can show you right now real quick the sake barrel sent to me by ginger in japan that is not sake it is full of dirt. <laughs> it is a custom pay dirt from Ginger in Japan. Uh, it sent to me as a, as a gift. So let's go ahead and bring this in the house. Let's see what's in the sake barrel. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there right now. Uh, bear with me, folks. These two out here will not stop fooling around. They're just making noise, so... All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up the sake barrel here. We're gonna pour the contents first off into the big one. It's all pretty fine. I'm sure it's gonna be all well under the uh, eighth inch or quarter inch, whatever this is, I can't remember. Yeah, just a couple of little bits barely even pass through that. There we go. <laughs> three, three little tiny rocks that didn't make it through that. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna pour off into the next size. Ooh, what's that right there? That's a bit of gold right there. Right there. Cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this off into here. Bear with me a moment. to the kitchen strainer. All right, and shake that down. There's everything that is plus kitchen strainer. There we go. Put that over here into that pan. So we'll not be using the Garrett's Super Sluice. Too big. Don't need it. Don't really need the uh, Garrett's Travel Pan for those three little pebbles. Don't think there's any gold on those. So we're going to start with the SE Finish Pan with the everything plus kitchen strainer and then I'll do the carrots gravity trap for everything minus kitchen strainer all right let me get you flipped around and set up here and do some panning all right here we go got my handy snuffer bottle got my pan this is the plus kitchen strainer oh, there's a piece of gold sitting right there nope mica ah all right, let's get this in here. See what we got. And yes, there is a little bit of soap in here. A little surfactant just to help break the surface tension, as always. Now I'm going to be a little bit aggressive with this, only because I know it's not going to be anything super fine. If there's any gold in here, it'll be a little bigger, so it should stay down to the bottom. 
Now when I say a little aggressive, I just mean I'm going to do like maybe one extra wash. <laughs> Still pan the same. Washing quite nicely. And right down to that little bit in the bottom. I'm seeing some color there. Awesome. Give it one more little wash there. Good right there. Let's go ahead and give her a little bump. Oh yeah, there's quite a few bits of color up in there. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh my. Wow, there's some chunky chunks. Woo, the lolly. Move these little iron bits here out the way. Whew. Look at them chunks. Major hush. Sorry. Beagles. What can you do? There's a picker. There's a picker. There's a picker. Almost a picker. It's a little flat, but there's three nice big chunky chunks right there. Good old pickers right there. A few other little bits. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get these into the snuffer here, if I can. Oh, it's too big. Nope, there it goes. Got it. Isn't that just the worst? When your gold won't fit up your snuffer bottle? That's just terrible. It just won't fit. <laughs> nope. Not going to fit. Ah, it's stuck in there now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, I got a piece of gold. It's stuck right there in the end of the snuffer bottle. It won't go in. I'll get it out of there. Alright. Oh, there's one more little bit. Let me get it. See if I can get it past this one. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next round here. I'll be right back. Let me get this gold out of here. It's stuck in their top pretty good. <laughs> After a little coaxing, I finally got that piece of gold out of the uh, snuffer bottle and or out of the nozzle and then into the bottle. Well, this is the minus kitchen strainer of the sake barrel pay dirt from Ginger in Japan. And I'm already seeing a lot of black, so that's that's going to be awesome. This one I am going to take a little bit easier because I don't know what's going to be in here. May edit this out, maybe cut this back a little bit. It's not too fun watching just the panning part of the end because this is going to be a minute. <laughs> There's a lot of black sand already. Not sure how fine a gold he put into this, so this may be fun. Oh my goodness. Oh 
man, there's so much in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to finish this out. All right, let me go ahead and bring you back. Uh, let me get this work down. Is it gonna be a minute? So editing is coming. All right, so here, here we, we go. go. There's some of my silver pours. I was doing some more last night. I got some more skulls and some hearts and other things poured. So let me go ahead and turn on the scale here. Let's see how much gold. Uh, that is a nice little pile right there. And there's everything down to fly poo. And I mean just micro, micro, itty bitty, little tiny, tiny bits. So let's see what, let's see what Ginger sent to me here. I'm sure there's probably a little bit more in the dirt that I just cannot get because it's so fine. There was a ton of it in there. Ooh, the lolly. 1.066. Holy Easter! That's a nice pile of yellow right there. Thank you, Ginger in Japan. That is one sake barrel I will never forget. And even that little that, that dust at the end there, that's mostly gold. There's a little bit of black sand in there, but there is some tiny, tiny, tiny little bits of gold. That was amazing. Thank you, Ginger in Japan. That was an epic bag of dirt. Let me get you flipped around here real quick. So, once again, that's how I pan. Uh, when I'm doing prospecting at home, mailbox prospecting, porch mining, whatever you want to call it, uh, when I get a when I get a pay dirt in the mail, that's what I do. Uh, normally not in the kitchen. I'm usually outside, but uh, with with it being you know about twenty between twenty and thirty degrees outside right now, I don't want to play like that. I'm just getting over being sick. I don't need to get there again. So, uh, somebody commented the other day, I, I normally I don't list everything. My silvers all, I mean, as of right now, they're all one ounce pours. Um, they're 20 bucks plus shipping. So, just so you can see what I'm talking about, there is the palm bar. That is the palm tree bar. These are one ounce hand pour bars. Most of them actually weigh a hair over an ounce. So, that's the palm bar. And then I do the skulls. Got these cool little scullies that I'm doing. Again, one ounce, hand pour. They will be not, they're all going to be numbered and everything now, um, just because why not? Um, and then there's the there's the dirt nugget. So one ounce, hand poured, little little micro bar. And then now, I just did the wolf. I did one last night. I did a one ouncer just to see how it would fill. Because uh, I, I hate going over and, and it, it overflows and it looks like crap. Uh, so I did a one ouncer and it didn't quite fill. So the wolf bars are probably going to be at least an ounce and a half, maybe a two ounce bar. So, But there it is. Didn't quite fill the square. As you can see, it kind of rolled it off. But I got the full wolf in there. And that's awesome. And you see, it's, it's, raised, it's a raised wolf. Howling at the moon. Beautiful hand pour. It's got a little bit of rippling in there, not not a whole lot. It's got a few little lines, but cool bar. That's that's wolf bar number one. Uh, the next ones will be more um, for the wolves, only because obviously if it's two ounces, uh, I'm going to be having to ask a little bit more. Uh, kind of like with the Dirt Thirty long bars. These are these are two ounce bars, and I'm only asking forty for any 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 of the two ounces. So it's pretty much just. Double it up, you know. If it's a two, if it's a one ounce, twenty bucks. Two ounce, forty bucks, plus shipping. Um, and then there's there's the heart bars. Don't want to forget the little hearts. I'm doing these as well. Nice rolled, rounded fronts. Cool poured back. These are one ounces. These are twenty bucks plus shipping. So there's the list. That's what I've got going so far. I have other pours, other things that I'm going to be doing. Uh, the big thumb up bar. Um, those ones are at least an ounce and a half, two ounce, so uh, I got to figure out what it is to completely do the full pour for it and see how much I need. So it's either going to be 30 or 40 bucks for, for the big thumb up bar. Um, and same with the Wolf. Um, these are probably going to be a two ounce, so those will be 40. So if anybody's interested in any of those, any of those creations, um, I do have a large order that I'm going to be filling on... The twelfth, which is going to pretty much take up the last of the palm bars, skull bars, 
and one of the hearts. So I'll have a bunch of skull or I'll have a bunch of dirt nuggets, a couple skulls and a heart bar left right now. More silver to melt. Um, so if you want something else, let me know. If you want something custom, if you want your name on a nugget, I will put your name on a nugget instead of a dirt nugget. I do charge a little bit more for making your own custom pour, uh, five bucks. I'm not, I'm not expensive. I'm a cheap date. That's why my wife loves me. <laughs> so, all right, everybody. Uh, that's it for now. Have yourselves a wonderful evening, wonderful afternoon, or a wonderful morning. Wherever you are, go dig in that dirt. Go look for that gold. Order you some pay dirts. Order, get some gold in the mail. Whatever you got to do to get your treasures, folks, go out there and do it. Because remember, it is dirt 30 somewhere. Have a good one, everybody.